keep standing in line for hour after hour to come in and see our nominee for president. And boy, did he do us proud. Yes. So boy, did Carol knock him dead as well. Let's give Carol a That uh, Garth Corvo, the president of the New Hampshire Young Democrats, are here. We will ask you to chair of the Rocky M. County Democrats. <laughs> Mark McKenzie, the president of the New Hampshire AFL CIO. most important job in the world, Chair of the Manchester City Democrats, Chris Pappas. <laughs> President Jean Judy from Here Work Free. Hey. Representative Mike Brunel from Work Campaign, uh, our good friend, the former Democratic leader of the New Hampshire House, Jim Craig. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to make history again this year. Yeah. Two years ago, we met a woman named Carol Shea Porter that traveled from one end of the state to another and inspired a group of people to go out there and work their butts off to send her to Congress. And you know what? She did the remarkable thing. Not only did she get elected, but she kept every single promise that she made. Compare <laughs> that record to Jeff Bradley. <laughs> shocking thing. Not only because I served in the house with him and I knew what he was like when he was in the New Hampshire house and that he sold his soul lock, star, and barrel to get elected to Congress. And we know that he turned over his our vote to Congress to George Bush and the Republican power brokers in D.C. But you would think after getting his clock clean last time, he would say, you know what? I'm going to do it differently. But he hasn't learned the lesson. Not one word has he uttered. He still thinks George Bush's war is the right thing to do. He still thinks that George Bush's economy is doing great. He thinks that health care isn't something he needs to address. Or education, or the environment, or anything else that you and I actually care about because Jeb Bradley has proved he cares about one thing. Jeb Bradley. Very good. <laughs> Two years ago, we also sent a remarkable woman to the state house uh, to serve as uh, our state senator in the southern part of Manchester. Somebody that I got to know <laughs> when she was elected as my uh, alderman here in the city, and then uh, took my place in the house, uh, and then where she served one term. And now she has uh, joined the state senate majority and has represented uh, her district, District 18, uh, remarkably. Uh, her voice for the working families of New Hampshire is strong. Believe me, I sit in there, I hear what she says in the caucuses, and her leadership is absolutely essential for us to make sure that the people of New Hampshire get the state government they deserve. I'd like to welcome State Senator Betsy DeVries. Yeah. firefighter in Manchester. I know what it's like to fight against overwhelming odds. I've been challenging the boys here in Manchester for years. <laughs> Standing up for what is right for the people of Manchester. I spoke up early this summer and focused attention on the heating crisis headed our way this winter. 
we now have a united effort of state and local agencies putting a safety net in place for our families this winter. And by leading the battle for research and development tax credits and job training grants, I've been able to bring hundreds of new high-paying jobs into the area. We've expanded health care to an additional 10,000 children because there is nothing more important than taking care of our kids. I refuse to let Granite Staters be swept away in the mess that Republicans have created. Whether it be raising the minimum wage or working to help people keep their families warm this winter, I have been your voice in Concord. Yes. But in order to bring effective and lasting solutions to New Hampshire's families, we need a voice in Washington. Yeah. We need a partner who shares our goals, our values, and represents the 99% of us that have been left behind by the Bush administration. And Carol is that voice. When we sent Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter to Washington in 2006, she promised to stand up for the rest of us and she has kept that promise. She has been working hard to make sure that we protect workers' rights, save our jobs here in New Hampshire, and take care of our veterans. That's exactly why we need to send Carol back to Washington. We need her there to be our voice. So on November 4th, Let's fulfill our highest obligation. Let's get out to vote. Let's get our neighbors out to vote. Let's get our families out to vote. This election is just too important to stand by on the sidelines. <laughs> just like Carol says, we need to fight like our country depends on it because it does. And Carol, you do that a little better than I do. Let's try it again. We need to fight like our country depends on it. Dorothy Sullivan, the next county yes. commissioner from Carroll County, and the secretary of the Democratic State Party is here as well. And Paul O'Connor, who is the co-chair of the State Party's Labor Council, right here. Yeah. 